Hey guys, um, this video is about you all, and I'm sorry if it's being kind of late, but we'll jump into it. Um, Yule usually happens between December 20th, 21st, 22nd, and possibly 23rd. Depends on the year and depends on how it falls on. Um, I like to celebrate mine on the 21st, and especially this year of all years. This year is really epic. Um, this is going to be the biggest solstice ever, I swear. Um, energy shift, everything's going to be awesome. Um, I can't even express how much I could say uh, besides awesomeness. But anyways, the goddess gives birth to a son, the god, at Yule. Yule is a time of the great darkness, of the greatest darkness, and it is the shortest day of the year. Since the god is also is also the sun, meaning like the the star, uh, this marks the point of the year when the sun is reborn as well. Thus, the wicked lights of fire or candle to welcome the sun's returning light. The goddess slumbers through the winter uh, from her labor and rests after her delivery. Yule is a <coughs> is one of the earliest uh, rituals celebrated in hurry of the end of the winter and bring the bounty of spring. It is a reminder that the ultimate product of death is rebirth. And this is a really good time because Yule is a really good time, especially with Christmas around and whatnot. But Yule is a really good time for... Um, Reading things that you don't want to be attached to, or whatnot, and um, and bring in new things because it's the sun is being born. Um, the herbs are holly, mistletoe, rosemary, um, oak, and pine cones. Um, I like to put oak moss around my altar. I'm in the middle of the process of decorating my altar too, as well. Um, uh, I like to put oak moss around my altar to get that nice smell. Um, oak moss is a very musky, woodsy smell. And it's the only woodsy smell that I can put up with <laughs> that I really like that doesn't bother me as much. Pine cones, pine, and cedar is not really friendly to me. I learned in, very early in the craft that it doesn't really agree with my skin as well as my allergies. Um, incense is bayberry, pine, cedar, rosemary, and juniper. Um, during this time, I like to use a lot of cinnamon uh, and sticks and as well as cones and whatnot. Um, candles are gold, red, white, and green. Um, of course, red and green being the Christmas colors as well as the gold as well as, well as the white will contrast as, amongst those. So decorate your call your decorate your candle or decorate your altar, sorry, uh, with these color candles. Um, sacred stones is cat eye and ruby. I think it's because ruby is very blood red. It's very bold red. Um, I personally don't own both of those, but I would love to have those. <laughs> but I like to decorate it with little gemstones that kind of reminds me of Christmas or feels Christmassy. Um, decoration is a yule log, oak or pine, mistletoe, wreaths, strings of dry flowers and cinnamon sticks, apple oranges, and possibly a yule tree. You can actually have like a, yule, a little small little yule tree on your altar if you really, really want. But be very cautious and safe um, when it comes to open flame as well as um, plugging it in and making sure that it's... I think the safest one is battery oper operated ones. Uh, is way better. Um, sorry for the cat meowing. Um, the colors are red, green, white, silver, and gold. Of course, once again, like, cat, the, like the color candles. Those are the color uh, that you want to incorporate into your altar. Um, let it be like sheets, um, tablecloths, little doilies and whatnot. Um, the food is roasted turkey, nuts, apple, oranges, uh, rolls, and red wine. Just a typical feast um, that you get for like a Christmas dinner that you get. Um, I like to put a little bit of nuts and apples as offerings. Um, I think it's very simple. I like to slice the apples and whatnot and have it on my altar for the time being and afterwards of course I'll eat some and then I'll give some to nature because um, I have a thousand and one squirrels around my home here including birds like blue jays and whatnot so I also like to give out bird food as well and whatnot to them and, and everything so I kind of hope this kind of helps you guys during you all and I'm sorry it's a little late and whatnot until um, then blessed be and have a happy Yule see you then